on this episode of Assassin's Creed Revelations. Where is she? <laughs> Such fury. Where is she? If you think you are in a position to negotiate, kill me and be done with it. In our last episode, we may have set fire to this lovely city and caused quite a ruckus. Sabotage, Manuel. You need to take cover. Get out of my way. Citizens, soldiers, compose yourselves. Do not give in to fear. We are the true shepherds of Constantinopolis. We are the lords of this land. We are Byzantines. Corio, stand fast. Do not let anyone break your... Oh, Skata. Stop that man! Cut him down! And we pick up right where we left off. And we are off after Manuel Paleologos, the key to the uh, recapture of Constantinople, apparently. At least according to the Templars. I see, I understand Assassin's Creed Revelations. This is the path. Oh my gosh. Oh. I missed the path. Okay, I fell. <laughs> I'm off the path. The cutscene saved me, though. Stop and think for a moment. Think about the life you have disrupted today. The anarchy you have sown here. No, I would rather not. <laughs> Instead, I think I'm just gonna run away. Ooh. Nope. Not. Nope. Okay. Get out of my way, please. I'm just trying to climb here. No one has to die except for Manuel. There we go. Ooh, I think we heard the first um, use of Malacca, which we will hear a billion times when we eventually get to Assassin's Creed Odyssey. <laughs> Look forward to that. You, you take advantage of a poor and displaced people, using us to further your own vain quest. But we fight for dignity, Assassin. We fight to restore peace to this troubled land. Templars are always quick to talk of peace, but very slow to concede power. Because power begets peace, Vlaka. It cannot happen in reverse. These people would drown without a fair hand to lift them up and keep them in line. There he is. The monster I came to kill. Love to hear when a Templar actually spouts their belief that the only thing that keeps the world in control and in peace is power. Anyway, let's take out Manuel. He cannot be allowed to live. I should have been Constantine's successor. I had so many plans. Your dream dies with you, Manuel. Your empire is gone. Ah. But I am not the only one with this vision, assassin. The dream of our order is universal. What am I, Byzantine? These are only labels. Costumes and facades. We need these trappings. All Templars are part of the same family. Enough prattling. I am here for the Masyaf key. Then take it. Take it. And seek your fortune. See if you get within 100 leagues of that library before one of us finishes you off. Hello, friendly neighborhood editor here. We're obviously going to do an in-depth video on Manuel Paleologos, so for now, we're going to leave him there, but we will revisit him. Poor 
Lord Manuel, last of the Phalaer Logi. I should not have put him in charge of our Masyaf expedition. He was an arrogant man. Impossible to keep in line. You disappoint me, Ahmed. Why the Templars? Because I am tired of all of these pointless blood feuds that pit father against son, brother against brother. To achieve true peace, mankind must think and move as one body, with one master mind. The secrets in the Grand Temple will give us just that. And Altair will lead us there. Delusions. Altair's secrets are not for you. I am not interested in arguing, Ezio. I am here for the Masyaf Keys. Keys? Are there more than this one? So I have heard. Perhaps I should ask someone who knows better. Sophia Sarto. Is that her name? She knows nothing! Leave her be! We shall see. I will kill you if you touch her! I know you'll try. And so we find out that that loser prince, I mean, not to be too harsh, but the loser prince, Ahmed, is the leader of the Templars in the city. That's crazy. He's the one who's been behind this the whole time. But, I mean, it just goes to show you that um, the organization is always where you least expect it, so... I'm starting to think that we might be partially responsible for the deaths of thousands of people. Let's get the heck out of here. It's getting mighty smoky. We need to be out of here now. I hope most of the civilians um, <laughs> can get out of here too. Oh, jeez. Oh, guys, I'm not to blame here. Let's get out of here. Quick. Nicola Polo. Our time together was brief, I know. But I have faith this Codex will answer the many questions you have yet to ask. Altair, this gift is... invaluable. Grazie. So? Where will you go next? Back to Constantinople for a time. We will establish a guild there before returning to Venezia. Your son Marco will be eager to hear his father's wild stories. Uh, he is a little young for such tales. But one day soon, see? Father, a vanguard of Mongols has broken through. The village is overrun. Nicolo, your cargo and provisions are waiting for you by the village gates. We will escort you there. Thank you, Mentor. Ready the catapults and watch for my signal. Stay close. And we have been transported to 1257. This is the second to last disc uh, that features Altair. So enjoy. All right, this way. Altair, in his time of study with the apple, has gained the ability to summon phantom soldiers with the uh, with this piece of Eden. That's crazy. I mean, crazy useful. Not gonna lie. Now, I loved the idea of Revelations introducing. Altair again through certain missions. Let me know how you felt about it when you first played this game. They've gained the advantage. Huh. Let's move. Wow, that's not ever gonna be lame. <laughs> that is so cool. Here we go. This is gonna be nice.
Wow. <laughs> what must the uh, the Polo brothers think? Father, are you hurt? Uh, give me a moment. Mm. Uh, the end of an era. When I was very young, I was foolish enough to believe that our creed would bring an end to all these conflicts. If only I possessed the humility to say to myself, I have seen enough for one life. I have done my part. Then again, there is no greater glory than fighting to find the truth. We are ready. A last favor, Niccolo. Take these with you and guard them well. Hide them if you must. Artifacts? Of a kind. They are keys. Each one imbued with a message. A message... for whom? I wish I knew. So cool. And that does it for those... that main section of keys. There's one more, and I think... If you're here, you probably know which one. Don't think we'll get to it in this episode, but definitely the next. Forgive the haste of my handwriting, Claudia. Much has transpired, and little of it good. I am on a ship bound for Constantinople, in pursuit of a man whose treachery has eluded me until now. Prince Ahmed, Suleiman's uncle, is the man leading Templars here. He is the mastermind behind the Masyaf expedition, and he will stop at nothing to retrieve the keys, all of which are now in assassin hands. So what holds me back? Why do I not take the keys to Masyaf myself and be done with these fools? Because I have been careless. Because the Templars know about Sophia and they are looking for her. Oh, Claudia, if anything should happen to her, I could not live with myself. I have dragged her into a war she knows nothing about. And it will be my burden to bear if she comes to any harm. Citizens of the Empire and travelers from foreign lands take heed. By order of the Janissaries, new restrictions apply to all who travel to and from the city. Note that a reward of 10,000 Akche will be given without question to anyone who brings in information that leads to the immediate arrest of the Suikasche, Ezio Auditore. Whoa. I mean, that's a pretty hefty reward, but I would offer 20,000 to not do that. And here they got. Do you think I can kill him without getting in trouble? No. Answered. Asked and answered. <laughs> Whoops. Hold on. Let me try and. There we go. That should knock down our wanted level a little bit. And we gotta continue with our journey here. We are not going to end it there. We march forward. Okay, we're closing in on Sophia's bookstore. Oh, a lot of assassins here, that's good. Hopefully everything's fine though. I doubt it, but I hope it's fine. I mean, I'll try and protect her, but I can't make any promises. Okay, well. It looks as lovely as ever, but I think she decided to decorate with dead bodies, and that's that's an odd choice. Do you think we can get up there? No. <laughs> Once again, asked and answered. Okay, more dead bodies. Oh, no. Oh, no. What's in here? No. No. Oh, no, I didn't remember this. brother requiescat in pace
Brothers. Sisters. The whole city rises against us. While Yusuf's murderer waits and watches from the arsenal, laughing. Fight with me, and show him what it means to cross the assassins. Here we go, avenge Yusuf Tor, 1511. Find and kill Ahmed, no freaking problem, we are on it. I can't believe I forgot that Yusuf sacrificed himself to protect Sophia, that is absolutely wild. I'll be honest, I am not interested in fighting any of you. There is only one person who I am going to save my rage for. So, everyone, stay out of my way. We're running. We are so close. Once again, no one's getting in my way. I'm beelining right for him. There he is. All right, here we go. would be an easy kill. Where is she? <laughs> Such fury. Where is she? If you think you are in a position to negotiate, kill me and be done with it. I am sorry it had to come to this. Two men who should be friends, quarreling over the keys to a library. We both strive for the same end, Ezio. Only our methods differ. Do you not see that? Peace? Stability. A world where men live without fear. People desire the truth, yes. But even when they have it, they refuse to look. How do we fight this kind of ignorance? Liberty can be messy, Ahmed. But it is priceless. Of course. And when things fall apart, and the lights of civilization dim, Ezio Auditore can stand above the darkness and say proudly, I stayed true to my creed. I will open that library, and I will find the Grand Temple. And with the power that is hidden there, I will destroy the superstitions that keep men divided. Not in this life, Ahmed. Bring the seals to Galata Tower when you are ready. Do this, and Sophia will be spared. My brother's army will be here soon, Ezio. After that, everything changes. How long have you been here? Long enough. I had Ahmed tell as soon as he returned. But I never expected to hear all this. And what do you think? He is a sincere man, but this Templar fantasy of his is dangerous. It flies in the face of reality. The world is a tapestry of many colors and patterns. A just leader would celebrate this, not seek to unravel it. He fears the disorder that comes from difference. That is why we make laws to live by. A kanun that applies to all in equal measure. Shastadem, stand back! Hold, soldier! This man is not our enemy. What a challenge it would be to have a son like you. You are not dead yet, old friend. Ezio, spare my uncle if you can. Would your father? No. I have no interest in sparing that man. Absolutely not. He killed my best friend. And he kidnapped my... I don't even know what we are, but uh, girlfriend, paramour, lover in the nighttime, one of those three. Anyway, now we have to go all the way back to the Galata Tower, which is on the opposite side of Constantinople, so. Uh, hopefully the, the trip will calm my fury. <laughs> okay, we're near Galata. I've had some time to think. I still want to kill him. Not gonna lie. <laughs> Haven't calmed down. <laughs> All right, let's do this.
All right, let's rally the troops. Hopefully we can save Sophia, no problem. Mentor? Now should be a time for remembrance and mourning, I know. But our enemies do not permit us that luxury. Yusuf thought highly of you, assassin. And I find no reason to second-guess this judgment. Do you have it in your heart to lead these men and women, and to maintain the dignity of our order, as Yusuf did with such passion? It would be an honor. Bene, I am glad. Our enemy is close. Take positions around the tower, and wait for my command. All right, we got to go to the drop now. Hopefully it goes swimmingly. Obviously, my memory of this game is quite flawed considering I didn't remember Yusuf died. So, who knows what happens. Where is she? I admire you, Ezio. But your bloodlust makes it hard to call you a friend. Bloodlust? A strange insult from the man who ordered an attack on his own nephew. He was to be kidnapped, Ezio. Not killed. I see. Kidnapped by the Byzantines so that his uncle could rescue him and be heralded a hero. More or less. Now, the keys. First, the girl. <laughs> She's all yours. Sophia! Tell your men to back off. She's all yours. Oh lord, I knew we were gonna have to freaking climb this tower again. It's like um, the designers included the Galata Tower and they were like, alright, because we had to do that, we're gonna get every use out of this thing <laughs> possible. They are climbing this at least three times. And here we go. Oh, here we go. Parachute time. Let's go. Okay. She's losing a lot of health here. Let's see if we could fall a little faster. Maybe I should have... Maybe I shouldn't have pulled it that soon. Oh, and they're shooting at me. Delightful. Come on, assassins. Help me out there. Nice. Good job. So close. Sophia, hang on for like two more seconds. Are you hurt? Not, not hurt, but very confused. I did not mean to drag you into this. I am sorry. <laughs> you are not responsible for the actions of other men. All this will be over soon, but I need to recover what they have taken. I do not understand what is happening, Ezio. Who are these men? Run! And that's gonna... That's gonna be where we stop today. <laughs> Sorry to leave you on another cliffhanger, but this sequence is quite long and uh, I want to give it the amount of time that I think it deserves. Thank you so much for watching. I produce about two videos a week on Assassin's Creed games from one to currently Revelations. But we will march our way all the way to uh, Mirage. So look out for that. Thank you so much again for watching and check back next time for more Assassin's Creed content.